Hi Survivors, it's me Prepper Zan reporting to you. Hope you guys are doing well because what's going on in this world is not. I'm out here taking a walk. It's like in the 40s, but it's not as cold as it was like last week, like in the 14s and 12s. I was in Chicago last week and uh, it was like 12, 11 degrees out there. It's kind of it's cold, you know? I see people occasionally jogging in that kind of weather, <laughs> even walking in that kind of weather, but I don't take a chance because um, even when I'm indoors and I'm exercising, if I sweat and I'm sweating, and if it's a little breeze indoors and it's not warm enough, I could get sick. I've gotten sick before, like I got sick last week in Chicago. That's how I got sick in Chicago. I went to the gym and uh, I was working out and I was sweating and uh, got back to my room and I was working out. I started dancing, cause I love to dance. And it's a good workout dancing. And sweating, sweating. And the room was kind of cold and I, I couldn't warm it up. I kept on trying to warm it up. And I got sick, I took a bath, got sick. So now it's kind of a little warm out here. I'm taking a, like a long walk. I'm trying to take like an hour walk. When I go back, I'll dance. And I only say that to encourage you guys to keep up with your exercise regimen, you know, it's important. Even if it's like walking at home and place 15, 20 minutes, it's important to keep our bodies right. I think that's the foundation and it's in a, a strong foundation for being a good prepper. It's not always storing a lot of stuff because some people don't have to store nothing. And with their physical bodies and with the knowledge of knowing how to survive, they'll be able to survive, you know. But um, I want to talk about 